In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to use MATLAB's uh, Simscape application for simulating a spring mass damper system. Simscape is a uh, very user-friendly and intuitive um, graphical software within MATLAB used for simulating uh, mechanical and electrical systems. We have here a model of a uh, two-mass spring mass damper system in Simscape that is given a step input and then we're able to graph uh, the step response of this system. So let's go ahead and see how uh, we are going to do this. So if you go here into your um, MATLAB command window, you can type ssc new to open up uh, Simscape. It actually opens up within Simulink, Simulink because it's just a um, derivative application of it. And we're starting here with about five different blocks. We have our solver block a uh, signal to physical system converter, a physical system to signal, a scope, and then this Simscape library button. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is open the Simscape library. And I'm gonna drag that over here to the side of the screen and open up the foundation library. And this gives us a whole array of different components that we can uh, select. I'm gonna be talking solely about mechanical elements in this uh, video. So we have uh, five different types of mechanical elements. Um, so first go over here to translational elements. And this is our typical springs, dampers, masses, uh, grounds, etc. And so if we want to make a uh, spring mass damper, obviously we have to have a uh, translational reference or a ground. So I'm going to drag one of these over here into the window. And I'm going to uh, give it a clockwise rotation. And we're going to position that right about there. Um, so now I want to import a damper. If we're going to make a uh, two-body spring mass system, and we want to import a spring, and then we'll do a mass like this. Okay. So I'm just going to copy uh, the spring damper and mass over, uh, so I don't have to re-import them, and go ahead and arrange this. Uh, nicely. It is pretty critical how you arrange the components uh, as this will uh, make a big difference when you go to kind of connect everything together. Um, it's a bit like wiring a circuit up in multi-sim or a similar software. Um, so generally if you have multiple masses you want your springs and dampers um, kind of in uh, parallel and then you want to have your masses sitting below um, and so when we go to wire this up, you can just kind of go ahead and connect all your components. And from this uh, spring, I'm gonna go over here to the mass. And from the damper, I'm just gonna connect straight to there as well. And do this. And then we'll go from this spring to this mass. And like that. So we have our spring uh, mass damper system here. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna assign values to all of these components. So you can double click on a mass, and I'm gonna give this a mass of, I don't know, five kilograms. Um, these values are just kind of arbitrary. So we'll go another five there, and we'll give the springs a spring constant of maybe 50. And we'll do 50 as well here. Same thing for the dampers. We'll do, I don't know, maybe three. Okay, so we have values assigned to all of our components, but there's nothing acting on the system. And, you know, if we went ahead and run this, we might get an error or nothing might happen. Um, but this isn't complete right now. Uh, there's still more to be done. So you have to take this solver block and you can connect it anywhere on the system, but I typically like to connect it near my ground. Um, and then we have this uh, simulink to physical system converter. So we want to have a, a step input act upon our system, but we can't just connect a step input to this mass and call it a day. Uh, what we have to do is we have to go up here to mechanical and uh, go to a mechanical source and select an ideal force source and drag that on over. And I'm going to give it a clockwise rotation. And you're gonna connect the S here to the Simulink to Physical System block connect the C to the ground of your system, your uh, translational reference, and connect R over here to this mass, which is what we want 
uh, this to act on. Um, so this is going to uh, take whatever our signal is and it's going to create an ideal force out of it and it's going to act it upon this mass. Um, so now let's go over here into the actual Simulink library and we'll select a step input from the sources menu. So we can drag that on over. Do that. And connect that to the uh, this block right here. Double click your step input and set the step time to zero. That way it acts as soon as the uh, simulation starts. Um, so we can run it right now, but we're not gonna get anything outputted to our scope. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move these blocks over here and we need to go to our uh, Simscape mechanical library here and go to mechanical sensors. And we're going to select the translational motion sensor. And this will allow us to look at the positions or velocities of our masses. Um, so we have uh, four little outputs here. We have R, C, V, and P. Uh, so we want to connect R to the mass. This is basically what we want to uh, look at, where we want the position. So I'm just going to hook that right there. We'll connect C over here to our system ground. And V and P stand for velocity and position. In this scenario, I think I'm more interested in the position of the second mass. So I'm just going to connect that to my uh, physical system to simulate converter, which is then going to take it out to a scope. So uh, to summarize our wiring here, we have our translational reference, two dampers, two springs, and two masses. And then we have a step input that goes from a simulant to a physical system converter. Uh, it's then passed through a force source, which acts on the second mass. Um, and then we have our uh, translational motion sensor here, which is uh, sampling the position of the second mass, and it's sending that out to a scope um, and that's basically all we have. So I'm going to go ahead and run this. And uh, then we can open up our scope and see the results. The scope window is a little small, so I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger. Do about that. Make it bigger on this side as well. Okay, so we can see there's a lot of oscillation in this system. Um, maybe the damping is not quite as high as we like or something like that. Uh, but we can fix that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to our dampers and maybe we'll set those to about five. And we can go ahead and rerun this. Uh, you can also change the default simulation time. As you see here, the uh, simulation was run for 10 seconds. So we can go up here to this block and I'm going to type in 20 if we want to run it for about 20 seconds. And I'll press run again. And you can see that the system is almost damped out in 20 seconds and here's our position uh, response. So anyways, I hope this was a helpful video in how to use uh, Simscape to simulate spring mass damper systems. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and we'll catch you next time.